Hi everyone, this is Fikayo of Fikitout.com and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the JavaScript confirm dialog box. Uh, the confirm dialog box actually helps you to display a message to your user when they have of when they perform an action you want to display a message to their user to actually confirm whether they want to perform that action or they want to uh they want to decline because sometimes your users might just click some buttons in error and um you don't want the you don't want a situation whereby they click in error and uh, they can end up deleting some very useful information or performing a very risky task so uh, the the um, JavaScript confirm dialog box comes in handy this way and I'm going to be showing you how to work with it in some very useful ways now I have here I have a page with a uh, uh, level 1 header here that says you are on my first page <coughs> and I have a link here it says leave page when I click leave page it simply takes me to the second page it says you are now on my second page go back you see everything just happens by default everything happens by default now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be setting a confirmed action on this such that when I click this link it will first of all confirm whether I want to actually leave the page and if I click OK it's going to leave the page if I click cancel it's going to remain on this page so um, I'm going to jump into the code of this page that's um, I have confirm page 1.html here and as you can see this is the uh, little styling for the other one it says you are on my first page and uh, I have a link here and it's linking to confirm page 2.html I'm currently on confirm page 1.html so it's linking to confirm page 2.html and the link says leave page so the easiest way to set the confirm box on this is to set an on click event on this link because definitely the user is going to be clicking on this link set an on click event on this link and um, you say return confirm return confirm then inside your confirm uh, method you want to display a message to the user I'm just simply going to type are uh, you sure The link says leave page so I'm just going to ask the user if the user is sure say are you sure I'm going to save that as you can see let's go to the syntax on click when the user clicks the link it simply returns the confirm box it says are you sure it asks you are you sure then if you click ok it's going to go to the next it's going to go to confirm page 2.html that is the default action is going to take place and if you click cancel then it's just return false like that so i think i'm going to um this this returns this return will return the value from this confirm will actually send you a true or a false so if it returns true that means the default is going to take place if it returns false that means it's just going to stay on the page so i'm going to jump back into my browser I'm going to reload the page let me see whether it's actually reloaded good you see when I click leave page I have a confirm box that says are you sure if I click OK it simply takes me to the next page I'm going to go back I click the link again are you sure if I click cancel it's just going to stay on the page so you see very very simple way of making sure you alert your users before they perform a particular action now you can also work with um, what the confirm box actually returns you can work with what the confirm box returns in a more uh, in a very clean way now what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to have a button here I'm, I would like to use a button even though you can use a link also but I'm just going to be using a button yeah I'm going to Then I just put it in its own container in paragraph. Let 
let's save that then the button is also going to say leave page I'm going to do the same thing let's say leave page and um, I'm going to create a function up here inside my head script so the type script then here I'm going to create a function and let's say function I'm going to name it leave page Inside my function, I'm simply going to set a variable. I'm going to set a variable to be equal to the confirm box. Set a variable that will say, Are you sure? Are you sure? So I any anything this variable anything the confirm box returns is going to be stored in this variable, and it can actually is it returns boolean value so you either returns a true or false. So what I'm going to see doing now is that I'm going to test the value that is coming from it. I will say if r if r equals true. That's if it returns true. That's if you actually want to leave then I'm simply going to redirect the user to the next page I'll use the window dot location the location property I'm going to set it to the value of where we're going that's why I actually didn't want to use the link the other time I'm going to set it to um, confirm page 2 dot html so it's what it does it is that if the if if the user clicks ok it's going to definitely when the user clicks ok the confirm box returns true and it's going to be stored in this variable r and now i'm testing the value of r if r is equal to true then simply take me to this uh address take me to this confirm page dot confirm page 2 dot html using the window load dot location uh, property and uh, else I'll just simply turn it to return false which is actually the default thing that is already taking place you just say return false just stay where you are I could just say window.location and repeat confirm page 1.html but then I'll just leave that return false so the leave page now we go to our button set an on click event on our button and set and call our function inside the on click event for the button so let's get this again we created our function leaf page what leaf page actually does is that when it it runs it um, actually tells you to confirm whether you're sure it says are you sure if you click ok that means it turns true it stores the value inside this r variable and um, now we're testing the value that is coming from the box because we don't actually know what the user clicked now we're saying but we know that the the confirm box definitely returns true or false so we're saying if it's true simply redirect the user to this page confirm page 2.html and else just return false so save that and back to our page refresh this now we have our button and when we click the button simply asks us are you sure click ok goes to the next page go back click are you sure click cancel it simply stays on the page so you see we're actually using the value returned by confirm to decide on what to do so it's, it's not every time you use it for uh, tra traversing between the um, pages you can actually use it to uh, display something on the screen uh, using the uh, in HTML uh, method you can use it to um, uh, set a CSS property on a particular 
on a particular element on the uh, page probably to show an error or something you get a whole lot of things to use uh, this for and uh, I hope you guys have gotten uh, a very wonderful idea from this tutorial and uh, I hope you're going to put it to awesome use uh, Fikidao.com is your online training library we encourage you to visit us and uh, check out our courses check out our DVDs that are up for sale order them we have a javascript dvd so you want to order that and expand your javascript world subscribe to our youtube channels to keep getting uh, updates on um, the dvds and the videos that we are joining out and uh, i wish you guys all the best just have fun with this